the best season review ever. We nearly did a three-peat. We made the Challenge Trophy final, which we lost, unfortunately. We won both the County Championship and the T20 Trophy, however. Um, guys really stood out um, this season. The bowling attack especially ripped so many um, batting units apart. Um, teams would have dreaded um, travelling to Northamptonshire anyway, and when we generally um, needed someone to step up, it did happen. Like We had a lot of guys in England duty as well. Player records for the season. Looking forward to showcasing this. So the current year, no one scored over a 1,000 runs uh, as well. That's how remarkable we were with the uh, ball. Uh, Anthony Thor, 950 run runs, 52.83. Marluck was good as well, especially at 240-something he got. Uh, Gunson, 847 runs, 52.94. Uh, pretty good as well. Bentley, I, I was pretty happy with Bentley. Um, he did a good job, along with Glenn, while the guys were away on English duty. Rashad Punt, 760 runs, 47.5. That is still good stats at 37. Thought Belmont contributed a good, valuable um, amount of runs. Stanley Dix didn't play too many games for us. Uh, Meyer, I thought Meyer was really good this season. Outstanding with the bat and ball. Uh, Aswood was a bit quiet. Uh, and Hemp chipped in a quite a few runs as well. So the wickets. That is incredible. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bowlers averaging under 24. Incredible. Daniel 58 works at 21.48. Hemp 51 at 20.76. Siggins was good for the majority of the season, 51 at 23.16. Uh, Glenn, 22.48 per wicket, 42 wickets for him. Max Meyer, 35 wickets, 20.46 um, per wicket. Addy got a few um, games, 29 wickets at 20.76. I think some of them would have been for England. Even Friend, um, four games, 14 wickets at 31.14 was good when um, required to... That is why we're so dominant uh, this season um, with the 12 wins. Our bowlers were um, an outstanding unit. And teams were always losing wickets against us. Teams barely got over 300, not on too many times. And um, a record of 12 and uh, 2 is something to be proud of for the season. Uh, the one day current uh, year saw us make the final, of course, and um, miss out. Um, comprehensively beaten again. Uh, Bentley, uh, magnificent, 563 runs, 70.38. Uh, Stanley Lux played a bit for England. Aswood was good. Beaumont was good. Glenn added quite a bit of value. Gunson played a wee bit for England. Like there, there are good contributions throughout at key moments in the um, in the season, but a lot of runs scored. That's the difference between this season and other seasons, and why we won some trophies is because guys stood up. And the wickets, Max Meyer, 33 wickets at 24.33. Richard Gray, bowl good as well. Hemp was good. Like, all the bowlers averaging under 30 there. It's just a sign of a very um, experienced and developed um, bowling attack. And now the 20 over stuff where we won the competition. Of course, Rashad Pant played um, quite a bit for um, India. Uh, than the Premier League and he was good in patches for us um, Bentley was outstanding 452 runs at 34.77 uh, Glenn um, standout performer as well average of 46.14 when he got the bat some of these guys didn't get much opportunities to bat because the bowling does rip through teams at times but there are some outstanding averages there again and the wickets uh, 40 wickets for him at an average of 10.97 the man was a monster. Uh, so was Meyer. 34 wickets at 11.09. Siggins, 21 at 15. 20 wickets for Gray at 15. Like, that's why we won the title. Look how dominant we were. Eddie, 9 wickets at 7.89. Like, everyone I bowled, except for Daniel, um, was an immense. What, what a season. And what we're going to do is call that a career. I will not top that season. Uh, and um, pretty much uh, now I'm going to make another cut and I'm going to make my all-time first-class team, my all-time one-day team, and my all-time 20-over um, team. And then um, the next series will be the Australian career. 
but yeah, I really enjoyed this um, career mode anyway. It, it's good to top it off with two trophies. Um, like we had to work hard to get it. We had some outstanding cricketers that couldn't quite get titles at times, and I thought we're going to be here a long time. Uh, I was going to make it a 20-season career as well, but I don't think we're going to top that season by a long stretch. And I, I want to keep them around 15 to 20 seasons anyway, and we're somewhere in the middle there, which is fantastic um, for this one. So um, stay with us, guys. Um, we're going to add um, the review and the all-time teams put together. Okay, this is the Northamptonshire career mode first class team um, that I've selected out of um, all the seasons that we played. Adam Malik, we got him from um, Derbyshire, averaged um, over 55 for us with the bat. Um, he got uh, 900s and 1450s. Uh, that was a really obvious selection. And along with Anthony Thor, I thought Anthony Thor was outstanding, consistent throughout most of the seasons. Played a lot of cricket for England as well, and he really contributed some really good runs um, throughout his career for us. Uh, so that's our openers uh, there. Um, an interesting selection at three, Justin Crayshaw. Uh, he was a first-class specialist. Um, really remembered for um, getting that massive 200 and the 470 I'll be chased um, down. Um, pretty good innings. And he got, he got two double hundreds in his career as well. He... Average just a tick over 40 and um, a very well deserved selection in the um, first class team. Number four, uh, David Gunson, uh, excellent cricketer, uh, just scored regular regular runs and always gave us a chance, you know. And he, um, of course, played a pivotal part um, with his experience in the 20 over stuff and to win us that um, elusive uh, trophy that we deserve to get. But his first class record speaks for itself. Uh, he averaged um, around 40 something for us. Okay, just quickly check David Gunson's career actually because he's still on the team. Uh, he got 20 hundreds, 29 fifties, an average of 45.8. Uh, just a good man to have in your team. Number five, interesting selection, uh, Robert Anderton. You've got to, you've got to think Robert Anderton topped the um, run scoring charts for quite a while before his form uh, suddenly dipped. He had a good career elsewhere, but we remember him for scoring, I think he scored about 2100s uh, for us. I'll just check back with him. Okay, Robert Anderton's career averaged uh, 39.7 with the bat, uh, 2100 3950s for our side. Uh, that is a really well-deserved selection at five, I felt. Number six, uh, um, it was a tough choice, like uh, Adam Rosenton was good. Aswood was good, and Rashad Pant was good for the three seasons that he was with us. But I went with Adam Rosenton. He was just really consistent for us at the um, start of our career. He'd always get a 50. Got a few hundreds for us as well. Uh, I think he got well over 10,000 runs for our Northamptonshire. Not not all in my career, but when he got picked up from them until the end of his career. Really good selection. Uh, the all-rounder, Sam Curran, uh, pretty much gets selected at 7. Uh I think he averaged 36 or something with the bat for us and about 29 with the ball. He offered a heap to us when we really needed him at times. Like, this were tend to be um, quite slow starters in most of our um, campaigns, and he'd come back from IPL duty and make an instant impact. Number eight, uh, I was going to go with uh, four seamers, but I opted to go for the spinner of all jacks. Uh, Will Jacks uh, averaged about 32 with the bat for us. He got 400s and 1850s. And he averaged 34 with the ball. So I, I think having a spinner on that team just makes us have a good all-round attack. And the bowling attack was very hard to make up for 9, 10, and 11. But I went with um, Conor McCurr at 9. Conor McCurr had a couple of really outstanding seasons. And he was consistent throughout his career. Got over well over 480 wickets or something first class for us. And uh, he'll be remembered for um, just picking up massive bags of wickets when you really need him to. You can call him on. He was hostile. He was really good. Uh, number 10, uh, Dean Daniel. Uh, very good first class career. A uh, couple of um, things to note. He got, I think he got four 50s in first class cricket. But it was his bowling he was remembered before. He got that massive amount of wickets the season beforehand. He got about 90, he got 99 wickets including the university match. 
but he was consistent throughout um and he deserves a spot at 10 and number 11 um goes to blessings mirza barney uh didn't really give this guy opportunities for a start off but then i thought this guy's got something to him and we gave him enough game time and he was good enough to take regular wickets got five fizz and um, a couple of team wicket bags and deserves his place at number 11 so there's my first class team guys if you think anyone else deserves a spot in that team um just let me know but i think that's a pretty good team and um a few hard selections um there obviously i could go with the 12th man but i i'm just going to go with 11 for each team here so the next team up will be the odi well not the odi team the one day team Radio here is what I think is the Northamptonshire career all-time one-day team. Anthony Thor, uh, pretty much averaged 36 with the bat, uh, 713.50s. Um, um, a good solid choice at um, opening with Adam Malik, uh, 600s, uh, 550s, average of uh, close to 44. Gunson averaged 45 with the bat for us, 2650s, 500s. I didn't check on Robert Anderton's uh, stats, but he averaged um, very near 50, so he deserves um, his spot at four. Michael Glenn in the current day side, he averages into the mid-40s. He's got quite a few hundreds for us, quite a few 50s, uh, obvious choice at five. Six, um, which John Aswood, it was either him or Rashad Pant. John Aswood's been in the team longer. Even though he's got a smaller average, he's got 1150s and that big double hundred. Um, that gave him a spot in the team over Rashad Pant. Uh, seven, uh, Will Jack. So it's hard to find an all-rounder because uh, Sam Curran obviously only played the three one-day games for us um, due to the fact that he's on IPL duty most of the time. Will Jacks at seven, um, averaged about 23 with the bat and 37 with the ball. He was, he was tidy enough with, um, and chipped in when it mattered in some games. David Hemp was an interesting selection. Um, the last couple of seasons he had, and well, ever since he's been on the side, he, he made a really good impact. So he's gotten uh, 50 wickets in the one-day game, an average of about 26.81, deserved a spot. Max Meyer has taken 99 one-day uh, wickets for us, an average of 20, I believe. I'll just go and check that. Yeah, so Max Meyer uh, had a couple of 50s, averaged 24.95 with the bat, and averaged 22 um, per wicket um, for his 99 wickets. Uh, Blessings Mirazabani was a really good bowler for us. I couldn't really check um, back to see what he had taken. And same with Reese Topley, but those two guys um, sort of mm. were consistent and um, they make up the bowling attack. So, yeah, once again, what do you guys think of that um, career all-time one-day team? I think it's a pretty good team. And um, if we had that from the get-go, it'd be really competitive. And now for the final team, which will be the career all-time 20 um, over team. This is our Northamptonshire T20 all-time team. It was really hard to select um, because we didn't get much value at times out of some players, but we we had enough for a decent team. Uh, Anthony Thor um, got the 100, um, 1350s, an average of just over 20. Um, same with Adam Malik, averaged about 22. Gunson averaged 25, pretty solid. Robert Anderton's been put in there because he got 100. Um, and uh, quite a few 50s for us. Uh, Rashad Pant, the overseas player. Now, he was exceptional for the three seasons he played. Um, averaged about 36 with the bat. Uh, Stanley Dix um, played quite a few games. Averaged 30 um, with the bat. Uh, I think four or five 50s. Uh, Sam Curran, as mentioned, um, played a lot of um, IPL. And a lot of that experience really helped. Um, uh, chipped in with a few runs here and there. Got handy enough wickets i think he averaged around about 21 with the ball which is pretty good richard gray gets his spot at eight uh averaged 16 per wicket um is in the team a very long time very good player uh was out of him with max meyer it was a very tough choice between them but richard gray pips max meyer because richard gray had a better average with the bat and the ball uh the youngster uh david hemp um in the all-time team at nine just had an exceptional wicket taking ability. He's got 113 wickets um, in the current um, save at an average of 14 per wicket. Conor McCurr, uh, 
was outstanding in the 20 over format to be honest i think he ended up being the leading um wicket taker for us blessings mirrors of barney had that record at one point so that's why blessings mirrors of barney um, gets the number 11 spot but um hopefully you enjoyed the all-time um teams um guys uh also we'll just show you another few screenshots before we wrap up this career just going to show you some of the all-time records that um, occurred um, in the um, career. So our highest total we scored was 665 versus Surrey at South London in 2025. Lowest total was against Essex of 89 in the first fast comp. Highest innings was 245 for our Malik versus Kent in the recently completed season. Uh, Conor McCurra best bowling in innings and match against Somerset in 2026. Most runs in the season was Robert Anderton 2021. And most wickets was um, the previous season with uh, Dean Daniel. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through here. At the ground. It's 2019. This is what we um, done um, here. So 613 versus Gloucestershire. 2020. Lowest total. 45, 241 someone got against us. Rashid Khan got a 9 for, and Hassan, 12 for 173 in 2025. But that was the ground um, that we played in. But we're not going to show that record, um, I don't think, in the next save. So I think people want to see these major records here. So the one day stuff, uh, 385, of course, with that magnificent partnership between Aswood and uh, Belmont. I remember that game, 77 versus Durham. Obviously the highest score. Blessings Marizabani, 7 for 46 against Warwickshire. He was good in his time. Uh, most runs in the season went to uh, Malik, 678. Conor McCurr, 24 wickets in the season for one day. So I'd, he didn't make the one day team either. He just didn't play quite enough cricket to get picked for that team. And there are just slightly better performances from other players. Um, that's the reason why I didn't get picked for that team. But the 20 over stuff. 205 was their highest score against Yorkshire. We didn't get too many scores over 200 then. 40, I remember recording that episode, how embarrassing that was. Uh, Rashad Pant, uh, 110 the highest score um, for us. Daniel, uh, 6 for 12 with the ball. Most runs in the season, Rashad Pant. That's why he got picked for the team. He was incredibly good. And most wickets in the season, that's why David Hemp got picked as well. So we'll just quickly look at the um, partnerships uh, since did we break any and that time no we didn't okay so the 2019 so a few names stand out uh there uh anthony thor and a malik uh vasconcelos and richard levy in 2021 against knots okay belmont and glenn glenn um was starting to develop a really good career but it would be very interesting to see how his career would end up but i don't want to simulate through a whole heap of seasons it takes quite a while to um get through we've played enough as it is uh Bavuma was their um overseas player when we first um took over this team. He was really um good. Uh, Rashad Pant and uh, Max Meyer, 223 for that wicket. Max Meyer again with Aswood. Richard Gray and uh, Robert Anderton. Like a lot of guys that have made all time teams are in this list. Which is pretty amazing. Um so that's the um record part that's for each wicket there. Uh, the one day stuff now since 2019 um of course the historical we broke uh the all-time record for the top partnership and the third wicket the sixth wicket um when manus labuschagne and rob anton together baskin Celis and mccurr mccurr and newton mccurr was in a few um handy partnerships and i can't believe he was batting seven she was just been low on resources then rosa bunny and newton so we broke most of the records here so, yeah, um, that big 376 run partnership stands out. Uh, yes, we've had some good cricketers come through the um, team over the um, 17 seasons we played. So, yeah, the uh, tw 20 over stuff now. Uh, the 163 run stand between uh, Joe Thomas and uh, Adam um, Mullet. Was it the um, Pakistani? Just have a wee look. Surely it'll be in the first class um, stuff. Yep, the Pakistani was part of that partnership at the um, 2030 season. Richard Levy and uh, Joshua Cobb was the season before. Broke a few records there as well, but here's the, the all-time. Amazing the second work partnership never got over 100, but um, a few of the other ones did. 
remember signing uh, Martra. He was he was okay in that first season. And Rosenton and Anderton. Anderton standing out in a few of those partnerships. But yeah, that will bring a conclusion to the Northamptonshire career mode. Um, really enjoyed that series. I recorded heaps and bulk. I'd spend seven or eight hours at a time just recording, just enjoying what I did. Uh, yeah, um, we I, I just don't think it's worth continuing the um, file because we won the county championship and won the 20 over trophy in the same season. That's going to be hard to top. That was like we won quite a few games this season. Just to sum up the review... But yeah, the next um, series will be the Australian um, career mode. Uh, I look forward to bringing you guys that. So that brings a wrap to this series.